And welcome back to the Crafting Dead server series. It's been such a long time since I've actually said this. And we're going to drink up some water because we got to hydrate ourselves. But the most important thing is we're finally back on Atlanta US. For those who do not know, when I first started uploading the uh, Crafting Dead server series, it actually started off on Atlanta US. And why you might ask why we are back on the Atlanta US is because there's been some new additions to the map. And also the mod pack has improved. So I'm looking forward to checking out this mod pack and see what new things have been happening. And also just the fact of being back in the Crafting Dead brings back some good old nostalgic feelings. So if you guys are excited for this, definitely go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to join on Atlanta US to help fight off this zombie apocalyptic world, definitely go ahead and check it out. I'll probably have a tutorial in the next few days on how to actually get the mod pack. For those who are new but the best part is today we're going to be checking out one of the brand new parts of the map which is the oil rig shipyard area and we're going to try to successfully not die and actually scan out and loot this area so we can get some more loot what i'm using right now is kit bane for those who are wondering what i have on me at the moment so the best news about today's episode is I am going to be doing a rank giveaway um, and how to enter is pretty much very simple and what the rank is is actually the Raider rank. So if you want to win the Raider rank, all you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe, make sure you are notified by hitting that notification bell and also if you want a better chance of possibly winning this rank, go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter and most importantly I am brand new on Instagram I just opened the account recently and if you guys want to go and support me on there as well I will have a new post that will be related to the rank giveaway and in the comment sections all you have to do is simply say hashtag Raider rank giveaway um, and you'll have a potential better chance of winning this rank so let's go ahead and get started in exploring this oil rig shipyard area let's see what this says welcome to the Atlanta Navy base Hold up, I thought this was the oil rig or shipyard, but apparently it's the navy base, which kind of makes sense. They have a lot of security stuff around here, and it's very, very well composed with those navy ships right there, which I did not notice until now. <laughs> so yeah, there, there's our answer to our question. So this is Bay 1, it's a strict uh, security ID, has to be shown at the gate. Well, uh, with everything being down and all, I don't think we're going to really have to check too much about our ID. So let's go ahead and uh, check this place out looks oh geez it really does look abandoned like pretty badly it doesn't look like this place has any type of security left so we're gonna go ahead and loot this out but also i would like to know down below in the comment sections uh what specifically you would like me to do in the crafting dead now i'm definitely going to be checking out some new parts of the map in the next few episodes and uh potentially hey maybe even collabing with some other youtubers if they are interested and uh with that being said if you have anyone you would like to see me collab with in the craft and dead definitely go ahead and let me know down below in the comment sections all right i'm trying to figure out what this thing was this was this a turret it looks like it kind of was a, some type of defense mechanism I'm trying to see um if we can get a top here and see it looks like it was maybe even a helicopter potentially but uh by the looks of it, it kind of seems like it was some type of defense weaponry uh, system, but uh, all right, let's keep looking around. First of all, I do not want to get shot right now because, as you all know, uh, the crafting dead and then general the zombie apocalypse it's pretty, pretty uh, nasty people out there in this world. So, but a lot of things here look overgrown, so I kind of like that. I think it's a good step in the Atlanta US servers. I definitely want to see some more overgrown aspects because it's been such a long time, and uh, I feel like it's just about right now. What the heck is this building? That's that's my first question. I'm trying to this looks like storage containers. It probably was. Yes. All right. That's what it is. All right. Let's keep looking around. I'm trying to find as many supplies as I can around here. Loot up. Because one thing is, although I have YouTuber rank, I do not want to abuse uh, the whole rank thing. So I'm not going to be getting a lot of kits. I'm going to try to stay with the uh, kit rank Bane at the moment and just scavenger around and get as many supplies in. Holy horde of walkers. Look at all those zombies. I mean, chickens. Jeez. All right, so uh, we're going to probably uh, bounce around and try to stay away from that. Now, we're definitely going to need some water, even though this is ocean water, probably very salty. Uh, we're still going to drink it, you know, because we need we need some water right now. We need some hydration, which I wonder if that even has an effect. If you're drinking ocean water, if it does have a effect on your hydration, which could be something they can even add. I don't know if it's been updated. Also, uh, definitely go ahead and check out thecraftingdead.com. I believe they also have a tutorial on there on how to join and pretty much all the new updates. Uh, they're definitely going to be adding some cool things, so I'm looking forward to enjoying my stay in Atlanta, US, and hopefully I do want to start uploading, um, not uploading, but I do want to have a clan on here. So 
If anything, I would like to get some of you fans or supporters, whatever you want to be called, or the Foxy Nation, uh, to start getting ourselves a group on here. So if you would like to join me on Atlanta US, definitely let me know your IGN of some sorts in the comment sections so we can get that going as soon as possible and even build a base. So I'm going to store everything. Oh, medical supplies. All right, but I don't think we can access anything. So we have medical supplies, water, food. So at this point, it even looks like this Navy shipyard was even used just for supplies, storage supplies, and maybe even helping out people. But there's a lot of military stuff. Ooh, an M1 Grand. I think we have a clip for that, do we? Mm, I don't know if this works for this clip. No, it doesn't. Okay, so what we're going to do, because this is a gun bag, I am going to store the M1 Grand. It's not the best gun. It is a pretty old gun. Um... So, it, it's been around for quite some time in the craft and dead. But it's a good gun. It's a classic gun. What is this? Weapon control system. Ooh, this looks quite tempting. What is over here? Wa water bottle. Really? You know what? I do need some water. So, I am going to... I'm going to not complain. I'm going to take this loot and drink up any water I can find. All right. So far, I've been blessed. <laughs> There's been no one around here to attack us. Oh, that was me. Okay. Yeah, so far, so good. Let's check out this ship here. Anything... Oh, we have a P250. I'm definitely going to store that. As many weapons as possible. Silver Surfer 1. All right, that's the name of this ship. Well, you've been uh, pretty good for me lately, so I'm not going to complain. I want to go and check out what those buildings are. They definitely look heavy, heavily looted pot potentially with weapons and, and plenty of gear to start off our survival. Because you know what? We are using a kit, but I want to start using as much of the loot I find and scavenge as the resources. I really feel vulnerable around here. Oh, jeez, this place is really heavily overrun. All right, I'm going to use my katana. Hashtag Michonne right there. All right, there we go. And by the way, for those who are keeping up with The Walking Dead, I might even want to talk about it in uh, the Crafting Dead series as well and kind of get your your opinions on the last episode, which is pretty wild. I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but wow, are these really well built. Now, I do like this place. This looks pretty awesome. All right. We're definitely going to be here for quite a few episodes, but where are these zombies? I know they're around here, and we got to clear them out because we don't want them to be around here when we're inside because they can just pop on us and, uh, you know, take us out. We're going to put down the sound just a tad bit. There we go. It's pretty loud. All right. They're definitely up here on one of the... Uh, are they up here? I don't know. PVC pipe. Ooh, frag grenade. All right. We're definitely going to need another bag soon enough, but uh, all right. Let's keep looking around. All right. So these looks like some rooms... Sweet. All right, there's definitely uh, loot for days in here, so I am pretty happy with this. All right, sweet. So we're going to probably stay here for the, uh, like, probably until the next episode, to be honest. Oh, there they are. So how do we get on here? It looks like they randomly spawned. Yeah, you agree with me, of course. All right, so this place is pretty heavily uh, run down by zombies. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I'd be surprised. This place looked heavily armored, but uh, who knows what may have happened with the military. They probably just backed out and went to survive as well. I mean, I don't blame them. Let's see, nightstand, we don't need that. Just gonna carry all this. Let's see, empty canteen. All right, let's keep looking around. Um, what's this room have, anything? A broken chainsaw, we definitely don't need that. Although it's a pretty good melee weapon, I don't think we need that right now. All right, let's keep going around. Uh, I believe this is the way down. All right, I do like this build though. It looks really well done inside. Maybe if it was a bit more broken down and abandoned, I'd even give it more um, an aesthetic pleasing to the eye. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. I do like this. And by the way, I just realized now, I mean, I've seen it before, but I forgot to mention is the fact that they have a, now a texture pack for the Craft and Dead, uh, which is really, really cool. And I'm happy they actually took the time to do that because having the vanilla texture pack wasn't all uh, the most intriguing and it didn't really help with the theme. But this texture pack by far is a great step up. I do like it a lot. I definitely want to get rid of those zombies. They're making a lot of noise. All right, the more canned food we can get, the better. Let's actually get some soda. Let's drink up some soda pop right here. There we go. Uh, throw that out. Let's see. We're getting full in our backpack inventory space. Ooh, flamethrower juice. Oh, sweet. All right, I do have my e-chest here. Um, I do have a flamethrower, which actually makes me wonder, do I need anything else to make this flamethrower work? Let's see. I believe I can reload. Um, where do I put it? Where? I forget how to reload with the flamethrower. How do you do this? Fuel tank. I should be able to... Wow, I, and I remember I made a tutorial on how to actually get this fuel tank to work properly. I wonder if it's actually in the crafting uh slot. I'm not sure. This could be a big new moment, but I don't... I forget exactly how I did this. Jeez. I gotta even watch my own tutorial for this. But for the meantime, we're just gonna go each chest. I feel like there's something missing, though. I think we need a backpack. 
I think we need a backpack. Oh, wait, no. I believe the flamethrower should be able to be put on as a backpack. Is that what it is? Oh, my God. I messed that up again. Hold on. Hold on here. Maybe we're on to something. Maybe I forgot how it was exactly. Ow. Hmm. Forget. I really forgot just now. No big deal. I'm going to catch up on that in the next episode because I'm still going to have this in the e-chest. That's the valuable stuff over there. Oh, some medical supplies. Oh, a bottle of RBI. That's going to come in handy for sure. But we do need an empty syringe or a full syringe by all means. I mean, that's good for us too because then we have some more RBI. All right, I already looted this place out. I'm going to move on. I want to go and explore more of this place. Let's go see what we open up here. Oh, helicopter. Okay, these look like... Oh, that looks interesting over there. All right. This looks like uh, some bunk beds for the military. Ooh, a G3. Okay, now this is a good weapon. I don't know if we have ammo for it, which I'd be surprised if we did. So I'm going to store that in the weapons backpack. I'm going to start to also uh, keep my backpacks organized. So, like, the gun backpacks will be for weapons. And obviously, small small backpacks can be for food. But I haven't run across any... Uh, ooh, Remington ammo. Okay, I haven't run across any other backpacks. All right, I got to stay on alert here. I haven't been really focusing as much. Just been looking around and kind of enjoying the sunrise and, and the beautiful builds around here. But uh, someone could easily just come around and, uh, and pop me here. All right, what is this? Electric signal. All right, that's going to be definitely handy. All right, so now at this point, we are full in our backpack. So, honestly, I never thought I'd say this, but we got to find a backpack soon. Ooh, Remington. Yes. Okay. I actually really want to use the Remington instead. Uh, believe it or not, I think it's a better weapon than... Uh, the scar, even though the scar is a very good, uh, high worthy well, uh, weapon, I definitely want to stick with this. First of all, we have some more ammo for it, so we can be pretty much safe in that sense. Um, all right, let's keep looking around here. Oh, I do like it a lot. It really is nice. All right. Ooh, cola pop and some blue dusk. All right, some cola pop, some, some extra, uh, I guess some extra sodas, which are actually not the best. You're going to get dehydrated quite quick with that. So, uh, don't highly recommend a Vulcan paint job, you know? I wonder if you can even put that on here. No, I think, yeah, the the uh, the Remington is, is pretty much classical desert gray, but we can definitely do something with our... Oh, we can't even do for that? What? I thought you could. Well, I must be mistaken. Well, rip to that. Uh, let's put another weapon in here. All right, let's keep looking around. All right, these are pretty much the, the tents or the areas for the, uh, the military, um, I guess, army in some sense. So... I'm thinking I want to go check out this building right there, but I'm kind of worried there could be someone just waiting for me. But you know what? Might as well just check a little bit more around here. So we have an AOG scope, okay, uh, an M107, which is actually pretty decent, uh, and a beanie. I don't think I want a beanie, but can we actually tear them? I'm pretty sure you can hold and tear. Um, or was it this way? How did they do it? Mm, I forget. I think it's actually with shirts. But we have the M107. I don't know if we have ammo for that. I believe we do, actually. Hold on. Uh, what do we have for ammo in here? We have a DMR clip, um, and we have a sporter clip, which is not the best gun on this server, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice, let's see, what do we don't need? We don't really need rope. We don't need the rope, so we're going to have to throw the rope away and sacrifice it for the weapons. Now, we actually need some food, and I'm not going to stay in the open right now, because uh, if I do, I might get sniped. Who knows? Uh, but I haven't really clearly looted this place out. And I have not scanned this place out either, so I do not know what to expect. And I have no open food. Oh, jeez, we're in trouble. All right, I need some MRE or anything like that. What is in here? All right. Looks, coast is clear. Zombies are on the rooftop. All right, that's not a good sight. I don't know how they got up there. No one's around back. I believe the main entrance has to be somewhere from the front. I'm just trying to scope this place out because it's so open that you're vulnerable to any counterattack here. Um, or being ambushed easily. So, so far, I'm pretty happy we haven't run into anyone because it's been a while since I've been on the crap and dead. So, I'm still considered a noob in, in a sense, but I'm an OG though. I'm a classic OG. I'm, I've been here for such a long time, but I took a break. All right. So, we're going to let go of, we're going to take all the food and leave the weapons in here because that's how I want this to be organized. I really shouldn't be doing this right now because someone could easily come up and, uh, and pop me and I'd be pretty much losing all this great loot here. So, Let's see, that seems fair enough. All right, so let's take this gun bag off and put everything we have in here for now. So anything that's food related will go in there. Try to keep organized. I feel like I hear someone. I don't know. Uh, that stuff should be another bag. But for now, I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to let it slide. What's in here? Uh, yes, J-18. Okay, that's just the pistol ammo. But again, it's more ammo. Trying to collect as much as possible and try to stay organized. But I think by the fifth episode or... 
maybe the third episode. I definitely want to have a base because I don't feel safe just holding this around for so long. So in the meantime, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to build a base soon enough. Oh, we have an empty syringe now. Fantastic. All right, let's just store some of these weapons. Um, all right, that seems pretty good. All right, let's put this back in here. Try to stay organized a tad bit because I don't want all this stuff just hanging around here. All right, sweet. Should be good. But I definitely need some food. So the sooner we find that, the better for us. Let's see, what is this? Meat, cleaver, don't need that. All right, so I think this is the first floor all cleared out. Pretty successful so far. Oh, geez, we need water. Wow, we get dehydrated really quick in this game now. I forgot how quick we get dehydrated. It probably has been such a long time, but baseball bat. Yes, we got watermelon. For those who remember the survival series, remember when watermelon literally saved my life? I was so close to death, and all of a sudden, you know, the watermelon saved my life. Can these do anything? That'd be awesome if I could, like, fire a huge turret out of nowhere uh, by just pressing a random button. Because I would suspect some place like this would have a backup generator. But then again, this place probably was, uh, you know, cleared up or scavenged by the bandits. So, who knows? Let's keep looking around. Haven't heard anyone around here. It looks clear to me. Uh, Magnum era. Okay, I love, I love the 44 Magnum. That's like the Rick Grimes weapon. That's what I call it. All right, we have an EOTA. Ooh. I definitely want to add this on here. This looks really cool. This definitely has to be new. I don't remember this. That is awesome. I like this scope. That's pretty cool. All right. We have a taser. Ooh, look at this. Looks like a, It honestly looks like a water gun. All right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have our taser here. I'm actually going to put this scar next to this one just in case because it has more rounds for backup. All right. Let's take a look out the window, see if there's anyone around here. It doesn't look too, too crazy. Although I can't really tell if there's many people around me right now. So... Let's keep looking around. But definitely, this has been successful. I'm surprised we haven't been uh, attacked by anyone. Ooh, I wonder if we can actually put a paint job on the taser. No way. Oh, rainbow taser? Oh, wait. It didn't do anything. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Well, whatever. Um, I wonder if that actually is efficient in any sense. But, jeez, look at this place. The scope is actually quite good. Oh, there's a, per there's a person over there. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get our... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to get him from this distance. All right, let's see. He's probably going to make his move. If I had a sniper rifle, that would have been absolutely amazing. But most of my uh, rifles, let's see. Uh, M1 Grand. Any of this ammo. DMR clip. I don't think I have ammo for any of these weapons. Yeah, it doesn't look so. Um, all right, well, this person was right over there. He looked pretty heavily uh, armored as well. I'm not going to lie. And I think he started moving north. What position? Are, I can't tell right now. But he's definitely moving. All right. So I'm trying to figure out if any of the zombies are aggro to him to see what direction he's trying to go through. But he's definitely going to want to make a, a, a run up to this place. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? Which is a bad idea for me to be in here in the first place. But he could be looking at me right now. I, don't, I, can't, I can't see him. All right. You know what? I feel like I, I might want to go and scavenge and kind of start moving out into maybe one of the ships, but again, I don't know. I, I saw him going out through one of these uh, barracks here. But I don't know if he moved down that alleyway. He would have probably popped out somewhere there or on one of these main streets or even try to run across into that building. But so far, I'm not seeing him, and I definitely need some water ASAP. So, all right, let's go ahead and get some water here. These, uh, I mean, I'm getting dehydrated quite quick. I've got to be honest. That is pretty crazy. All right, we got to drink as much of the sodas we have in here as possible. What do we have? Do soda. All right. Yeah, I don't see him. I lost track of uh, of this person. So, all right, for now, we're just going to not worry about it too much, even though it is slightly a concern of mine. But let's go see what loot we have here. Oh, jeez, this is crazy. All right, let's go loot this stuff up here. Uh, let's go put our stuff in the gun bag because we have some good ammo and you know what I might actually put the the bags in my e-chest as well So we don't lose them because they're actually quite decent So let's actually do that right now just in case I don't want to take the L right now Let's get this gun bag slash e-chest until we have a base in the meantime. This will be uh, the way to go um, E-chest let's just put that in there too There we go Put that weapon in there. All right all good so far. Uh, anyone on this side? No. Oh, see, I see the zombies there. Is he inside that building? Let's see. I don't know if they just moved down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I thought he was around here. I definitely don't think he's still in the barracks. I 
feel like he's definitely moved out of there. Either he saw me or he's hiding. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna just try to stay out of his sight if he stays out of my sight. That's how it's gonna work. What's over here? An AS50. Do I have an AS50? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I'm actually gonna store that for now. Jeez, we need food though. This is pretty uh, scary. Oh, those ships got beat down pretty badly. All right, I'm surprised they haven't sunk yet. Uh, jeez, where is this guy? He definitely looked like he had a lot of loot. All right, you know what? I'm gonna forget about it. I'm gonna pretend he's not in my my sight. I'm gonna probably hold off in the tower until the next episode, unless he's making his way up here. What we'll do is we're actually close this. What is this? Oh, we have a sniper rifle. Okay. And we have a base hammer. What is a base hammer? What does this do? Hold right uh, to remove base parts. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So that's also a new addition as well, which I'm actually looking forward to that. Let's go uh, get a bag real quick. And let's get more specifically the gun bag and place the weapon that we just got. Because this gun is very good, but we do not have ammo for it. So for now, we'll just put... Every oh, wait. An AS-50. I think I do have a weapon for it. I don't know if that's going to work for it, though. Let's see. No, that's what I thought. And that's what I thought. All right, that's good enough for now. Take the gun bag, eat chest. Hey, I'm being really safe about this, but look, don't blame me. This is uh, pretty intense already because there's someone that could easily snipe me from here without me no noticing because I do not have long-range long weapons right now. But I'm debating if I should risk it to go down here. You know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if there's anyone out here. I'm going to close this door as well. So if anyone does try to get in here, I will hear the door no matter what. Dragon paint, that looks pretty cool. Uh, what is this? Uh, riot control mask. I actually want to see how that looks. I think I already have one on. All right, don't need it. All right. So what we're probably going to do is we're going to hold off in the control center at the moment. We do have a Sporter 22, and we do have ammo for that, but it's not the best gun like I mentioned. But so far, we've been racking out a lot of good supplies from the Navy shipyard or the Naval base, if you would like to call it. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with this. This place looks pretty safe for now. There's only a one-way entrance. Easily can take him out from here if he does walk in. But if you enjoyed today's episode, definitely go ahead and uh, let me know down below in the comment sections. Don't forget to subscribe and like as well. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you'd like to go ahead and have a chance to win the Raider rank, definitely go ahead and check out the description. Also, the comment section, I left a way to apply for this giveaway. It's pretty simple. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. And more specifically, definitely go ahead and leave a post on my recent Instagram for the Raider rank by saying hashtag Raider rank. Just going to give you an extra little boost potentially in getting yourself uh, one of the ranks on here. But this won't be the first and last giveaway. There will be more to come as well. And uh, definitely uh, really happy with uh, how the Craft and Dead is turning out so far. So it's sundown, a perfect time to end off today's episode. And by all means, definitely let me know anything I should improve, what to do if you guys want me to create a clan, and what should the clan or the team name be on this server when we create our base. I want to have the strongest base. So if you're a good builder, definitely go ahead and uh, message me on the Discord. Everything's down below in the description as well. Of course, my Discord and the Craft and Dead Discord. So go ahead and check them out. And if you find me, message me because I do want to start recruiting some people. And if you're a YouTuber who wants to be part of the team as well, by all means, go ahead and let me know. But thanks again for watching. It's been a while. I'm happy to be back. My name is Alexon. Peace out and stay foxy.